Great win, great win. Uh, more so than anything else is what we went through Thursday night out in Iowa City. Uh, just the way these guys put it behind them, bounce back, and to come into this environment with these fans, passionate, passionate fans, and these guys sat in a hotel room and said it would be different. And it was. It was different. A whole, whole nother attitude, whole nother level of commitment. It, it got off the plane, worked out, trained, and woke up this morning ready to go and, and uh, wrestled our tails off against a really, really good team. Scott, you said here last year a couple of these big, huge matches, and so you wanted to give one of the fans so bad. Is this kind of that signature? I know you had a couple wins yeah. last year, but this is kind of that breakthrough win? No, I know what you're saying. I mean, it's great to, to fill the arena and pack the rack, but you want to win. You know, you want to win, and, and then that, today was that day, and been dying for one of those. You know, we've been close, and uh, we've been close, and I just think, just think about what happened the last 48 hours makes it even more special. And then to beat number four in the country, I think in years past would be number three, uh, Virginia Tech back in I think it was 2011. But this was, uh, this was bigger, this was better, this was Big Ten, this was, this was important, and uh, good for these guys, good for these guys. Going into that last match that you would have wanted to well, I put a lot of faith in our stack girl Tiffany, and I was either <laughs> it was either going to be me or her. We're going to be out of here, out of here. So, so I knew we needed to win by five. We had a, a timeout there where Coach Leonardis told told Billy you got to win by five. Stuck to it, and we wouldn't have looked real smart if that wasn't the case. But sure enough, it was. So, Scott, talk about the route that Richie took to get to this point in his collegiate career. Yeah. Uh, you know, coming out of high school, Tom's a Reese, you know, my neck of the woods, my town, and uh, obviously Fallon needed to go to junior college to get his grades right, you know, maybe get his head in order and do some things. Sometimes that's the best thing. And uh, not many people want to go out to Iowa, right, to do it. And, but this guy has goals. This guy has goals, and it takes a lot of guts to, to pick up and move across the country and, and build a different family and a different team. He had great training out there. He was part of a great team, so that certainly helped. And then... Obviously, he's, he's, he's a heck of an athlete and a heck of a wrestler and certainly wanted to bring him back here, and uh, it just worked out, and, and uh, you know, good for him. Like I said, he went away and did some really good things out there, and here he is now on the cusp of, of doing some great things here, and it's all in front of him. He's just got to go and do it, but it's certainly a great story. Because you and I have talked through the years. You always believe in his ability yeah. to Yeah, I thought he was really, really good. I knew he was really, really good in high school, obviously being close to the Jackson program and what he's done with Brian Hammond and wrestling Anthony here in the state finals of semi. Super, super talented in a really good weight class. It's a guy we wanted coming out of high school, but because of grades, he had to go and do some certain things. And that's part of growing up, and he did it. And it makes you a better man, better person, better wrestler. And here we are today, and he's in the middle of one of the biggest wins in the program's history. Scott, how about uh, Gravina's win? Huge, you know. Talked at a social earlier, and uh, – He's close with everybody, you know, and everybody will reach out and email. He's, he's, he's close. He, he got Gabe Dean tired. He scored the first takedown. He got Brooks tired. He should have beat him, had him pinned. But the reality in this sport, nothing matters unless you get your hand raised. So he needed to get his hand raised to validate it, and he goes and beats the number three kid in the country. Not that it shocks us, but he did beat the number three kid in the country. Huge, huge win. Huge win. And uh, we've had some big ones individually, and that's one of the biggest ones I've been a part of. But uh, – it means more when you get your hand raised, not just wrestling hard and strong, but, but winning the bout, and, and that was it. It was huge. Scott, what does it say about Billy Smith that you can always lean on him in that last match? Yeah, you know, I felt good about it. He's beaten a kid before. Certainly, the, the thing with Billy, if I know he, if he's favored to win, there's a good chance he's probably 100% he's going to win. Uh, for, for the next step, and this isn't to put a negative into the press conference, the next step he's got to go beat the nationally ranked, you know, the guy ranked higher than him. That's the next step for Billy. He's super talented, can do it. He has the abilities, has the leg attacks. He, he can score points. He's got to go beat the good guy. But, but when it comes down to a match and we know he needs to win and he's favorite, there's a good chance he's going to win. At what point in Billy's match did you really start to feel confident or just look around and take in that moment? When the guy, the guy took the shot. And uh, where Billy didn't have to go and get a takedown, the guy – Took a shot on him and he just ran around one, scored, scored there. I felt good about that. Now he was going to win by five because not many people can hold him. So it felt good that the kid wouldn't score on him. We've wrestled him a lot. So at that point, I knew he'd win. Anthony Parati, did you just talk the same kind of thing? The been here a long time, the magnitude of this victory? Uh, it, it's huge. And uh, as Coach said, uh, the last 48 hours were, were real tough. We went out to Iowa. We got beat eight matches to two. and. To say that me and Anthony uh, picked up the only Ws, we were not really happy with our performance at all. And we came back, got off the plane last night at about 6.40. We were in the wrestling room at 7.40, and I swear to God, it was the hardest practice we've had all year, and it was a make weight. And uh, it was crazy, and everyone's like, even the kids who were redshirting, they came in last night, and they were like, dude, like, 
I can't believe Coach like ran us through a practice like that. Like, <laughs> was, like, was like, yeah. And you know, waking up this morning, I was just like, I, you know, I just felt different. I felt like ready. I felt we were like prepared and come in. You see, everyone's all smiles. And I, I remember I tweeted, you know, I tweeted that, you know, we got, we got out and we we got pounded at Iowa, but I swear we're gonna put on a different performance for our home fans. And that was that was really special. And. I'm just blessed that, you know, I have nine other guys that can put me in the position to where I go out there, and if I do my job, we're going to win the match. So, I mean, and Nick Ravina is something else, man. I've been saying it. You're so <laughs> close to breaking through, and you're right there on the cusp. And every day I really tell him, I try to drill it in his head, as in everyone's head. And it doesn't surprise me that he beat that kid, honestly, because he's one of the toughest kids I know. And I don't know. It's, it's a great win. It's a great team win. Everyone wrestled hard, and, you know, it's a way to – Going to Midlands, I guess, two and a half weeks and end on a win. Anthony, okay. Oh, Nick, when did you know you had to get um, I, ne I never really knew I had to <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to wrestle as hard as I could, and it worked out. What was kind of your mindset coming in? Because Scott said he's a really highly ranked kid. Um, just like every other match, I uh, just got to push, uh, push pace, go as hard as I could, try to score as much as possible. Um, not to go too much over the head. <laughs> And that was that was it. Work up on the hands. Anthony, is this kind of the difference right now between this team? Remember last year it was Del Vecchio and you and Theobald would score points, and then and Parati, and then you guys the upper matches kind of struggled. Well, your upper matches won this as good as you wrestled. Your upper matches kind of finished this off. Is that the difference this year? Yeah, I think uh, the main difference is just we're a team now. We're more than a uh, more of a team than we ever been. I think we're one unit. Everyone gets along real well and. 30 guys on our team are my best friends, and I wouldn't want to be spending the, these kind of times with anyone else. Uh, this is what I came to our prison for, to be a part of things like this, and it's just, it's really, it's really cool to see it all come true. Richie, from where you've been, how did it feel to do that building rocking for you at the end of the battle? Uh, after I won, Coach Goodell said to me, this is what you came here for, and uh, to wrestle out the rack and, and be on a team like this with nine of my brothers is, is exactly what I came here for, you know? Prodi started off two years ago with an All-American. Anthony came here, and, and it just set the milestones. And, and I'm at Iowa Central thinking, I got I to gotta be in New Jersey. I got I to be part of this team. And uh, now it's all come to fruition with a, a mindset and a great coaching staff. Did you ever think you'd get to this point when you were on in Iowa Central? I, I didn't think. I, I knew. And uh, my whole life, that's what I've been doing, is just put my mind to something. And when I put my mind to something, I, I know I'm going to achieve it. And for you, I mean, as I know you, wrestling is a major part of your life. For you to go out there, I mean, that must have really told you how important wrestling was. <clears throat> yeah, it was It was one of the biggest commitments I'm, I've ever made in my life. In what way? It, it wasn't just a, a wrestling thing. I, I had to get my mind right almost coming out of high school, you know, not accomplishing my goals and uh, having my grades not, not where they wanted to be. In order, I realized in order to achieve my end goal to be an NCAA champion was I had to do those two years there. You feel like you just had to get away from the Jersey for a little bit? Yeah, I had to get away and... It was the best thing I've ever done. And Scott, your expectations for him got to be pretty high. Right? Yeah. I know you. I know how you think of his ability. Yeah, they're yeah they're very high for Richie. He knows that. We don't. I don't want to. He doesn't need the undue pressure. You know, we'll take a day at a time. But he, we both have an end goal in mind, and we talk about it quite a bit. And uh, you know, these guys are, are some of the guys that really study this sport and understand this sport. And well, maybe not so much Gravina. <laughs> 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 Didn't even know Dan Gable. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> You know, Richie and Anthony and Anthony and these guys really study this sport. And uh, there, there's an end goal for all of them. And we, we spend a lot of time, there's a lot of dialogue individually about uh, about it. And, uh, yeah, I have high expectations for him. Probably more importantly, he has them for himself. You don't rest, Richie. You don't rest with him in the room, do you? We sometimes do. <laughs> Was there a point when you felt the turning point in this? Did the momentum really shift? Uh, you, you know, I, I, I thought... I thought we were in trouble after Phil lost. I thought that was one he had a chance. He should have won that bout. You know, he should have won that bout. There's no question in my mind he should have won that bout. And then when he didn't, you know, you get, I, I always think he's in the match because of the way he wrestles, meaning Ravina. So I knew we needed that one, but never thought it was over. And then even into the last couple seconds there, him hanging on like that, uh, you know, the, I, the turning point was was I thought it was going to be Phil and it wasn't. And then we needed a huge upset somewhere, either hating or or Nick and Nick got it, and then I felt really good about it. Scott, it's Saturday. It's a day match in December. High schools, a lot of high schools are scrimmaging today. Yeah. It's 60 degrees outside. 
There's a great crowd here today. This yeah, is a great crowd. They're, 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 it's these guys. You know, they're yeah. passionate. They want to watch. They want to watch good wrestling. They want to watch good wrestling. These guys scrap hard. And we, we told them when we recruited them, we can get it to this point. They believed in it. And it's about the product you put out. And it's these guys. It's nobody else. It's the, the 10 guys that go out there, have to wrestle hard, and people continue to come back. And it's fun. It's exciting. It's an event. Oh. Our market people do a great job with it. Uh, it's, it's a great place to wrestle. People love coming here to wrestle. They love to watch. And we certainly like wrestling at the rack.